Printing postage and carrier labels directly from within 6-bit is one of the best ways to improve efficiency and save time. Postage and labels can be printed through integrated carriers, or plain mailing labels can be printed. 6-bit has integrated with several partners to allow postage and carrier labels to be printed. To make use of this integration, sign up for the services offered by one or more of the following companies and then flip a switch to turn on 6-bit's integration. Express One uses USPS Priority Mail and Express Mail. Express Mail is the most tightly integrated and cost-effective of our integrated partners. If you print USPS Priority Mail or Express Mail postage, you should be using Express One. You can sign up and start using it directly from the Manage Postage window without any additional software installation, no additional cost. Indesha allows you to print any type of USPS postage. Indesha offers both an online version called Indesha Label Server and a desktop version called Dazzle. The online version is the easiest and cleanest to set up and use. Dazzle offers you more options for your label sizes and layouts, but requires Dazzle to load each time you print labels. If you print on 4x6 or 6x4 labels and don't need to customize the layout, then we highly recommend you choose the Indesha Label Server option. UPS WorldShip is UPS's own desktop software that allows 6-bit to print UPS carrier labels. You must have a UPS shipper account and be set up for scheduled pickup. FedEx ShipRush provides free tools to e-commerce sellers. We integrate with their tool for printing FedEx labels. You must have a FedEx shipper account. To print postage or labels, open the Ship Orders mode. From the grid, select the orders for which postage will be printed. Postage and labels will be printed in the order in which they are chosen. Click the Print Postage Carrier Labels button in the ribbon bar. Any shipments in the selected orders that have not already been shipped will be loaded into the Print Postage and Carrier Labels window. For each shipment in the grid at the top, choose the carrier. The list of carriers will include any carriers that have been integrated through a third party. By default, the carrier will be filled in with values from the shipment record if they existed. If no carrier was specified on the shipment, or if a non-integrated carrier was specified, the value in the carrier field will state non-integrated. If not integrated is selected, a mailing label will be printed. Depending upon the carrier chosen, different tabs and input fields will appear below the grid. These are the input fields required by the shipping partner. Refer to the shipping partner's documentation to understand how each field is used. After setting all postage values, Print Test Postage can be clicked to ensure that the printer is set up properly. If the shipment does not automatically include insurance, or the insurance included by the carrier does not include the full amount of the shipment, the Purchase Insurance for the shipment box can be selected to purchase insurance through ShipSurance at greatly reduced rates. Cost for insurance purchases will appear on the 6-bit invoice. If a packing list will be printed each time a postage label is printed, check Print a packing list with each label printed. If the packing list and postage printer is set to the same printer, alternating packing lists and postage will be received, which should make packaging items easier. For a walkthrough of how to set up a Zebra printer to do this, see our user's guide article on printing alternating packing lists and postage on a Zebra printer. If everything looks good, click Print to print the selected shipments in the grid or click Print All to print them all. Our user's guide has a multitude of other shipping and postage printing related topics. Please refer to our guide for more information on setting up your integrated shipping partners, setting default postage label printers, reprinting labels, mapping values to your postage, splitting and combining orders, and leaving feedback. Thanks for watching. Please visit our YouTube channel for more training videos.